hello what's up youtube ron is with another tutorial and in this tutorial i'll show you guys how you can easily get those very nice rich and professional skin tones in just the camera raw interface or using just the camera raw filter in photoshop so if i told you have later versions of photoshop you are going to be able to have this embedded in your photoshop so it is for photoshop cc i think 2015 and onwards so this is the image that we're going to be color grading and this is the after so this is the before and this is what we're going to be achieving and later on i'll be giving out this preset for free if at all you are following me on instagram so make sure you click on the link in the description of this video so that you can follow me and send me a dm on instagram and i give you the access link to this preset i would like to make 10,000 followers before my birthday which is on the 11th of this month so make sure you follow me on instagram so that i can reach around 10,000 followers and that will be a gift for me on my birthday so in order to get this preset remember first of all follow me on instagram and also send me a dm so that i can give you a link to download this preset uh, for free so that is just going to be like a giveaway so it's more of a win-win situation so before you can start learning about this make sure that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can recommend it to so many people out there so let me just give you a moment to hit the like button on this video and i hope you're done so let's reset everything so that we can start from uh, the very start so this is the image I shot it some time back. I think it was at the start of this year. And it is a raw file and you can see a settings. I shot this at ISO 250, 85mm lens. And I shot it at F7.1 to get so much a detail on the skin. And I shot it at 1 out of 100 of a second. And using my Canon 60 camera. And the other thing I used was using an highlighter just beneath right here to reflect or get rid of the shadows so basically it was a two light setup so one was the light which was the godox 3600 bm and just the reflector to bounce off that light back to eliminate these shadows so usually the very first thing i do when i'm going to do the color grading is to first of all get everything right in the basic adjustments right here so usually what i do i first of all come to my highlights and i just I knock them down just like that i think that looks fine 34 then i also do the same for my whites just going to drop them down i think at around 12 we are good to go then i add some little bit of blacks to add some little bit of contrast to the image then I open up my shadows because I feel like when I pull my blacks down, it tends to make the image a little bit dark. So I think that looks fine. And I come to the contrast and I simply add some little bit of contrast around. I'm just going to add around 7. Then since I feel like uh, Canon cameras add some little bit of magentas, especially in the skin tones, I come to the tint option and I simply reduce on the magenta so when I take the slider of the tint towards the green side it means I will be eliminating the magentas from the image so I'm just going to eliminate the magentas just like that up to negative 2 and you can see where we are right now before and after right now so after doing that the next thing is going to come to the clarity I'm just going to add a little bit of clarity to the image around 3 then I come the vibrance because I feel like the image is really a little bit warm. So I'm just going to reduce on the vibrance. I think right there we are good to go to our negative 3. And after I have done that, the next thing is going to be coming down to my HSO panel. So basically, hue, saturation, and luminance. Luminance is the lightness or darkness of a given color and saturation is the intensity of a color and when you're hewing down you're getting like an opposite of a particular color on more of a color wheel kind of thing 
So I don't know how I could explain that a little bit better. You can correct me in the comment section. So the very first thing I handle when I'm tackling the skin tones is coming to the luminance option. So under luminance, what I usually do, I come to the oranges and I simply darken. You can see when you turn this down, you'll be darkening the oranges. And when you turn it up, you'll be lightening up the oranges. So I'm just going to be darkening the oranges up to around... It goes around 18 is fine and that is all I do for a skin tones in the luminous option then the next thing is coming down to my saturation and under saturation usually I turn down the saturation of the oranges just like that around negative 8 and you can see that the skin tone is really getting nice and richer then I also reduce on the saturation of the reds just like that around just going to take it to around negative 23 i think right there we're good to go then the next thing i want to do because i feel like the greens are a little bit conflicting with the image and the attention is some of the attention is drawn to the greens in the background i'm just going to take the saturation of the greens all the way down and you can see this really looks nice and beautiful so now the attention is on the model right now so i'm just going to come to the hues and i play with the hues of this image so under hues i'm just going to push the reds towards the oranges remember as you're moving these sliders if at all you're moving the red you're moving it to the color just beneath it or below it and when you're moving this towards the left hand side you'll be moving it towards the color on top of it so I'm just going to move the reds towards the oranges just like that around four and you can see the skin tone is now looking better then I'm going to move the oranges towards the reds so I'm just going to move it around negative two and I think that looks fine then I'm also going to move my yellows towards the orange side so just going to move it just like that around negative six and I think that looks fine before and after and the skin tone is looking the same the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to play around with the color in the green area in the background so i'm just going to move it towards this side i think that is too much so i'm just going to leave it around 58 and before and after then the next thing we are going to be doing we're just going to come to the split toning and if at all you want to get split toning quite well, you always have to start at the saturation option. So just push up the saturation just like that. Put it to any number that you want. Then simply start moving the hues because right now I just want to target the highlights and just want to add that kind of cyan to uh, the highlights. So I'm just going to move it just like that up to... Uh, I think right there we are good to go, but I feel like the intensity is too much in this image. So I'm adding that kind of greenish, sunny kind of feel to the highlights of the image. I'm just going to come and reduce on the saturation, just like that, reduce on the intensity of that color in the skin tone. So you can see the before and the after. And what that has done, you can see that is a really subtle change. Then I'm just going to come to the shadows and I add some kind of cooling feel to a shadow. So like I said, you start with the saturation and move the hues up to that point when you feel like you're fine. So I'm just going to move it just like that up to that point when I feel like I'm adding those kind of blues to uh, the image. So I think that is fine. Then I'm just going to reduce on the saturation. A little bit so I just want that to be a subtle kind of effect and I think that looks fine so lastly with my color grading of the skin tones I prefer to play around with the calibration sliders so under calibration we have different colors the red primary green primary and blue primary so under this I prefer to come the red primary and just desaturate or reduce on the intensity in the red primary i think around negative 
let's go with around negative 8 then the next thing I do is doing the same for the green the saturation of the green and I simply knock it down uh, to the same value at around negative 8 then the last thing I do is coming the saturation of the blue primary and I knock it down I think to around let's go with around 16 16 is fine then I turn the hue up to around let me just take it I take the hues up to around 9 and right now you can see that the skin tone is now looking nice and more professional so you can see the before and after before and after so basically this is what I do when I'm doing the color grading for skin tones in the camera filter you can see the before and after before after so right now what I want to do I just want to save this preset for you guys that are going to be following me and you want this preset for free so you have to follow me on Instagram at Tronics Photography and the link is going to be in the description of this particular video so after following me ensure that you send me a DM so that I can give you the access link to this particular file or to this camera roll preset so let me just save it I'm just going to come right here and I'm just going to save the settings so that you can also use it on your images after getting access to it so I'm just going to come to save and I'm just going to name this maybe Ronix Ronix preset. I think that looks fine. Let me just save this on my desktop for easy access. I'm just going to hit save. So basically, this is how I do color grade skin tones in the camera filter or in the camera interface. And if at all you have loved this and you found this really helpful, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time, I am Ronix from Ronix Photography and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ronix Photography and don't forget to hit the like button on this particular video or drop a comment down in the comment section so that YouTube can rank this and push it to more people out there and I'll see you in yet another. don't forget to keep color grading and keep creating.